What, so you talk about multiculturalism. I would say multiculturalism is a failure. Multiracialism is wonderful. I mean, multiculturalism is great in terms of food and stuff like that, but it's, it's pointless to try and marry different religions and faiths into one, underneath one culture, which was built under a Christian value system. So would he be better to turn around and instead of trying to appease these, the, the people that want to you know, diminish what Britain is and the values of Britain, would he be better to stand up and proudly state, you know, this is Britain, this is what we stand for, and, you know come follow us and become part of our great nation. But that's not the role of what the king is. He, he shouldn't really be standing up to people. He is reflecting Britain as it is today. Well, he, but he shouldn't really stand for, for anything, should he? He should be impartial and uh, constitutional monarch. Mm -hmm. So <coughs> my thing is he talks about uniting us through our diversity. Mm -hmm. And I'm like, how, how can you unite people through diversity? Because diversity is different. Mm -hmm isn't it? So how do you unite people through difference? But he's acknowledging those differences. If he was to just be the defender of the one faith, then you're alienating so much of society as it is today. So by trying to incorporate that a little bit, he's acknowledging that Britain is a very different place. We've got all these different religions and they're a much bigger part of Britain and the world as it is now. And do you think that, do you, do you sense that the country is behind him and that he's got, he's got a fair wind and, and, and sail behind him? He has. I think he, ha he does still have a lot of backing, but it has significantly dropped since Queen Elizabeth. As, as we've just been saying, she was, she was a one true monarch, really. She was on the throne for over 70 years. Everyone knew and loved the Queen, really. The King hasn't quite got that standing as Queen Elizabeth does. It's going to take some time, but I think with time he will get more support going forward. And do you think he should... Um what I was saying, you know, he's obviously got his own page on the World Economic Forum website and he, he's very much into environmentalism, which is uh, now a sort of religion and certainly a political movement. Mm -hmm. Do you think he, should, he would benefit himself and the, and the country to step back from political posturing? Yeah, I think, I think that has to be the way. That is one of his main criticism and has been for decades, really. His political involvement, I mean, we had, it emerged 20 years ago about the... Uh, the the handwriting, the, red, the notes that he gave to prime ministers, trying to influence policy. He needs to really rein that in. We are seeing a change, but I think he probably does need to step back a little bit. Uh, just last month, he gave a speech where he brought into environmentalism again. Again, he received criticism. It's for him to move forward. I think he does need to drop that to one side. Yeah, I mean, it, it, it strikes me that we're in a strange period in history, and actually a coronation may be a very unifying thing, but th this idea that, that this constant haranguing of diversity and it being our greatest strength and all these things, actually our greatest strength as human beings is that we are all human beings rather than diverse human beings. You put so much emphasis on diversity, 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 but actually what unites us? And do you think he can, he can gather us up? Because I think, my view, is that he's going to have the nation behind him 100%. Mm -hmm. If he can ditch the politics, ditch the environmentalism, ditch the World Economic Forum and serve his people. Is that his job? It is his job, but I think tomorrow we're going to see just the amount of support that is behind him. There's going to be thousands of people here behind us. They're going to be flocking from 6am. We've had people there for, for days, almost weeks, camping out. So I think that shows the amount of strength he has got for what he is doing now. He's a one, I mean, it's, it's a, what a note, what a, I mean, what a poison chalice, but what an amazing gig as well at the same time.